Hey guys and shine my friends, Dr. Allen here, and today we're going to be ranking the rarest eye colors in the world, from the most common to the very least common. Plus, I'll be sharing how and why some of these eye colors exist, including some of the genetics behind it and the eye diseases that can cause these rare eye colors. Coming in at number nine, the most common eye color, and you probably guessed it, they are brown eyes, which accounts for about 55 to 79% of all the eye color in the world. And the reason that brown eyes even exist is because of the amount of pigment deposited in the iris of the eye. But how does pigment deposit into the iris of the eye even in the first place? This is something I want to go a little bit deeper into because one, I think it's super interesting, and two, it'll help better explain all the other eye colors out there which we're about to go over. What most people don't know is that the iris inside of the eye has multiple layers to it. This includes a very back layer, which usually only your eye doctor will see during an exam, but this is called the iris pigmented epithelium, and is almost always dark brown for everyone, except for one rare eye color, which we will touch on a little bit later in this video. Then in front of that layer, you have the muscles of the iris, followed by the stroma, which includes the blood vessels of the iris, as well as melanocytes and melanin granules. Now, technically, there are two different forms of melanin that give rise to the varying colors of the eye, which include eumelanin, which is the kind of a darker brown to black color, and then there is pheomelanin, also known as lipochrome, which gives more of a yellow to reddish hue. And depending on the amount of melanocytes and the ratio of these types of melanin somebody has, that will influence what type of eye color they will have, including if they have just like a random spike of some other eye color mixed in with their iris. But if you happen to be in this pool of people with dark brown eyes, well then congrats, because you have some of the most melanin in your iris. Coming in at number eight are people with blue eyes and accounts for about 10% of the world's population. Interesting fact is that everybody with blue eyes happens to share a common ancestor with other people who have blue eyes. This is due to a mutation that occurred on the OCA2 gene, which occurred somewhere between six and 10,000 years ago, probably somewhere in Northern Europe. This mutation reduces the amount of melanin production in the iris stroma, and that leaves the collagen fibers of the iris to look more of a whitish clear color. And then because of a really cool phenomenon, blue shorter wavelengths of light are scattered more than other colors by these collagen fibers. We call this Rayleigh scattering. It is in fact the same reason why the sky and ocean water looks blue as well. So technically there is no blue pigment inside of the iris making eyes look blue. It's in fact just a reflection and scattering of normal light hitting those collagen fibers and then bouncing back toward other people. I think this is just super cool and fascinating. Basically, when you look at somebody with blue eyes, you are literally seeing the color of the sky and the ocean. Number seven are those with hazel eyes, which also accounts for about 10% of the world's population. Hazel eyes are a little bit unique in that they have multiple layers of varying collagen fibers that have both types of melanin, which kind of creates a yellow-brown color to their eye, but also leaving areas for a little bit of a green effect. And because of these different pigment layers and how the iris muscles contract and expand to control your pupil size, depending on the lighting, the clothes somebody's wearing, and maybe eye makeup, people with hazel eyes tend to get that their eyes change color pretty frequently. Coming in at number six for the rarest eye colors in the world are those with amber eyes and accounts for about 5% of the world's population. A lot of people with amber eyes may be confused that they just have brown eyes, but technically they have a higher ratio of pheomelanin versus eumelanin. So they have more of that lipochrome kind of yellowish red hues in the iris. One interesting thing to note here is some people do develop kind of a copper colored brown ring on the outside of their iris here. It's technically in the cornea and not the iris, but we call that a Kaiser Fleischer ring and can be a sign of a copper deposit issue from the liver called Wilson's disease. 
thankfully very rare, but still something to kind of keep an eye out for and talk to your doctor if you ever see that kind of copper ring colored thing. Number five are gray eyes, which accounts for about 3% of the world's population. Gray eyes are technically just a variation of blue eyes with having just a little bit more melanin pigment in the front layers in the collagen of the iris, which ends up dumbing down some of that bright blue reflection of light that we normally see in bright blue eyes. But still, gray eyes, quite rare, and honestly look pretty cool when you find someone that has it. Coming in at fourth place are the lovely green eyes. And yes, green eyes are frequently reported as being some of the most attractive eye colors, but they only account for about 2% of the world's population, so pretty rare. Green colored eyes occur once again due to the amount of and the unique mixture of the different types of melanin. With green eyed individuals having more of the lipochrome melanin, which creates more of a yellowish color, and then that yellowish pigment mixed with the Rayleigh scattering of blue eyes underneath gives you that mixture of the lovely green. Third place goes to people with purple or violet colored eyes, which accounts for less than 1% of all the eyes in the world. But I'm also gonna tag in second place here for people who have red or pink colored eyes, which again counts for less than 1%. Now the reason why I'm bunching these two together is because people who tend to have violet or pink colored eyes all tend to have forms of albinism, a genetic condition that prevents them from forming much melanin throughout their bodies, if any at all. Technically, people who have forms of albinism generally have very light blue colored eyes. But do you remember that pigmented layer of the iris on the very back that I mentioned earlier called the iris pigmented epithelium? People who have albinism generally don't have much pigment on this back part of the iris either. And that allows light to penetrate deeper into their eye and then bounce and reflect off of the retina in the back of the eye, which has a lot of blood vessels in it. And that means the light bouncing back forward is gonna look more red. In fact, in the eye clinic, we call this having trans illumination defects. But because of that red reflection off the back of the eye mixed with the blue of the eye, depending on the lighting of the room and the intensity, that's why the eyes can sometimes look a violet or pink color. The eyes are super freaking cool. Unfortunately, people who have forms of albinism usually have other eye issues going on and they're usually very light sensitive because they don't have this pigment to block and shield the inside of their eye. And finally, the rarest eye color in the world coming in at 0.001% of the world's population are those people with black eyes or technically no color in their eye, which is really because they have no iris in their eye to begin with, a condition that we call aniridia, meaning they really just have one really large pupil and no iris that just allows all this light into their eye. People with aniridia in both eyes are usually born with it due to a mutation on the Pax6 gene, but some people do develop aniridia later in life due to trauma or surgical complications. I know that some people may comment that it is possible to have black colored eyes because of how much pigment they have, but Technically, uh, those are just really dark brown eyes. So there you have it. Those are the rarest eye colors in the world. Please let me know in the comment section your favorite part of this video, as well as which eye color you think makes the most attractive eye color. Otherwise, if you've ever wondered what it means to have two different eye colors simultaneously, then check out my other video coming up here to the side. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep an eye on it, and we'll see you in that next video. Peace.